All right, folks. People ask for some probe content. Here's some probe content. This is the engine we broke at the Time Trials Nationals. You can see we did cut the block in half. Uh, like, all the way in half. Uh, these are spinning fine, so we didn't have a rod bearing failure. The rods actually failed. Uh, funny thing we've got over here, let's take a look at this head. Maybe flip it over like this because it's burnt. Anyway, if you look here, we've got witness marks on the valves. So, we've even got grinding on this one. I don't know if you can see it. Got witness marks on this one there. Uh, let's look at this one. The oh, lifters are going to fall out, but that's okay. Let's see what we got here. We got that. These look okay. What happened was when the rods broke, they broke on the compression stroke, or probably the exhaust stroke, and the piston kept traveling upward in the bore and smacked the valves, which is quite violent. So let's, uh, and I think we may have broken number one too, but I can't see. We're gonna have to get the girdle out of the way. So let's get this girdle out of the way and see what we're looking at. All right, so we got all these out, and as you can see, the back half of the block is still attached to the engine stand, you know, and this is a two-place block, the girdle. This is the front half of the girdle. Yeah, so three pieces. Cut the block into three pieces. Just out of the way. It's a pretty hefty main cap that's not hefty anymore. Take a look here. What do we got? Let's see here. Uh, well, yeah, so it looks like... Oh, yep, there it is. Yep, we did break. It's hard to see. Where's my hand? Can we get in there? You can see it just a little bit right there. We did break the number two rod. The number one rod is intact. So, number two broke. So we broke three rods. That's, that's pretty, pretty impressive. All right, so we got the back half of the block off, and we can really get looking. So first thing, we're going to look at these rod bearings. These were brand new. I, I swapped these in. Um, and actually, well, that one's gone. Uh, the ones that were still in there are, look great, so we didn't have a rod or a bearing problem. If you look down here, uh, this, there it goes. So we had, uh, I don't know if we had a rod failure that led to a piston failure or a piston failure that led to a rod failure, but uh, yeah, that's destroyed. Um, down here, look down in there, that twisted, this one's twisted and jammed up in there, you can see that. Uh, the back bank was what was keeping the engine running, and then number one was still intact. But yeah, we lost three rods, two pistons, uh, just massive carnage. Uh, things are, are, are twisted and deformed, and that's, uh, and of course, these windmilled around and cut stuff up, and of course, there's stuff everywhere. So I mean, so this block obviously is, is, is scrap. I'm gonna knock these pistons out of the holes and uh, we'll, uh, we'll actually take it to the recycler this week and we'll strip it for all the hardware that we can get off of it. You know, that's it's probably full of metal. It's all trash, so we won't bother with that. This standoff, we might get that off. I bet we can clean it. But uh, yeah, that's what happened to the probe. So uh, turn this around and uh, yeah. We'll uh, get this apart. We've got to get all of these parts. You know, we got them bagged and cataloged. Uh, the cams are probably good. We'll keep those. The heads are fine, but they're going to need a valve job because the valves hit. So those are probably bent. Uh, so we may get those rebuilt or not. I don't know. I got another set of heads at the machine shop right now. But uh, and then we got a perfectly good alternator. So uh, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. And, uh, you know, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more crap like this.
Thanks.